I realize that I've uh, introduced some errors so I'm going to correct them again, I'm going to change the cube to a squared term and when this uh, equation redraws itself uh, it does so without uh, an equation number um, because I can create equations at any location at any point on the page so unless I redraw all the uh, equations on a page I won't get renumbering but I can clearly use this uh, this button here would would do that for me or I could choose to redraw all the worksheet equations without any re uh, uh, equation numbers I can do that too now another thing that I've realized is that um, I don't know, maybe some of you have noticed that this is actually a calculation for the outer diameter of a pipe, the inner diameter of a pipe, and that's a wall thickness, and this is a calculation for area. Uh, and, and I've just noticed that I'm dumb enough here to uh, have got the formula wrong. There's a, a pi term, which I've omitted an error. Uh, I was going to do all the tutorials again, but I thought, well, actually it serves uh, to show that it's very easy to make a mistake uh, and it's very easy to correct them and uh, this this formula here is also incorrect uh, uh, and it, it really is the power of XLC is that you get a chance to uh, look at your formulas uh, in a mathematical way compare them against the textbook and make them correct okay so I find it uh, uh, an invaluable tool